Yeah, I've been shooting a few rigging videos on my Revala 266 Cayman, and a company named Kemimoto reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in, in any of their marine products. I took a look at what they had to offer and found a couple ones that were just ideal for me. So I'm excited to give these products a try. Let me show them to you. We're on a 26 foot boat and I'm always looking for storage. I'm always looking for more convenient ways to hide things. I'm a fisherman, I want things handy. And check out this T-top bag. This is gonna be just ideal for me. So I installed this and I was able to push it back so it does not interfere with me as I drive. So I'm 6'1", I got no problem with headroom right here. It's clean out of the way and it is beautiful. Let me walk you through how I installed this and I'll go through every feature that I found so far on this bag. Here's our T-top bag right out of the box. First thing I kind of wanted to show before I put it up there is this bag is just lined with features. One that I'm noticing here is it's got all these loops to put rods in. I could put my uh, chum bat, stuff like that, just line that up and it'll sit right across the top of my roof. Uh, in the case of rods, I think they'll just shoot right out the the back here and be totally out of the way. So to install this, we've got just a system of buckles here. And I've just kind of shrunk them down a little bit. All I'm gonna do is strap these onto my roof, make sure I'm not twisted at all. Maybe back here. I want this, I want this as high and as back as possible is what I'm thinking. Again, make sure I'm not twisted and that way I can pull on these a little bit, cinch them up tight. Like that. Nice. This last strap on. And we'll twist. Like, that could have been more easy. That went on beautiful. All right, I'm happy with that. I think what I'm going to do now is just use this line here to kind of make sure it's pulled back as far as possible. And just wrap around here a couple times. Tuck it in. That looks professional to me. Same thing over here. It's not this way. It in. Plus with these ends a little bit just to kind of hide them. All right, let's do the same for the front here. Get that good and tight. And I'm just gonna wrap this. Get that tag in there. Make it look nice and clean. All right, good with that. And the last one, I have to put a timestamp on how long this took me. Again, this is my first time doing this. Okay, all right, we've installed it. That didn't take long at all. Let me walk you through some of the features and, and let me show you how I'm planning on using this T-top bag. I showed you earlier, it's, it's made for life jackets, but I got something that's been bothering me a lot on this boat, and that is, where do I stow my throw ring. So to me, this is one of the most important safety items on your boat, besides a life jacket. It's the first thing that needs to go in the water if someone were to go in. Not only accessible to everybody on the boat, but it needs to be visible. Everybody who's on the boat, I, I pointed out where it is, and I've kept this all over the place. I've kept it here, I've kept it hanging here. The sides, I just cannot find a good spot for the throw ring. And the last thing you want is for this to be stowed away when things go downhill. Because when they go downhill, they go downhill fast. So I want this very accessible and very visible. So I think this is gonna go great. This is, the throw ring is gonna fit in there just fine. Solution. Now I wouldn't mind if it was just a tad bit deeper, but this is gonna work great. Everybody's gonna see this. And if you wanna use it, look at that. Those two zippers make it perfect. Loving it. That is a permanent spot for my throw ring. And I have been wanting that since I got this boat. I've tried all over the boat for places to put this bad boy and I just couldn't figure out a spot. I've bought some hooks and I've tried some things and I just haven't, haven't found something that I'm happy with and I'm gonna be happy with this, I guarantee it. All right, cool. 
Right, another cool feature that I can use with this T-top bag is I can use these inside pockets here. One of the things I'm always struggling with is my leader line. I usually have my leader line all up on the console here and it just gets clunky. Um, I don't like it like that. So this is gonna be kind of perfect, I think, to store some different spools of leader up here. I can see them, I can get at them easy. That looks pretty good to me. Another thing I was thinking I could do is I could just take a big carabiner like this. Whatever leader line is my primary line, I can just hang it like that. Now I've got access to it all day long easy to pull it off. So I'm, I think I'm gonna need a couple of these. And when I'm fishing, I'll just get those set up so that I have quick access to whatever leader material line that I'm using for that day. All right, so that's the Kenny Moto T-top storage bag in a nutshell. This is the way I'm gonna use it. Throw a ring. I've got, looks like maybe six, eight spools of leader line in there. I'm sure I can find some other uses as well. But the primary use, Love it, absolutely love it. I still got room to put rods, anything I might want hanging from, from these. I think this company certainly seems like they're jam packing features into everything. And I wonder if that just comes from the company starting off in the UTV world. Everything is compact, it has to be super durable. It certainly seems like that translated well to this product. Nice looking product. The second safety item I really wanted to add to my Robala 266 Cayman is a rear view mirror. Where I boat in Southwest Florida, there's a lot of no wake zones. And there's been a handful of times where I've come up to a no wake zone, came off a plane, only to have somebody kind of come ripping right by me. Those people are usually driving a Nortec, listening to the Pina Colada song. Look, I hope they're having fun, but it can be kind of an unnerving situation to have somebody just kind of roll up on you like that. I think a rear view mirror like this is really going to be a nice feature and just having that better spatial awareness when you're coming off a plane or in really any kind of situation where there's a lot of traffic I think is going to be critical so I'm all in for that let me install this thing all right installation looks pretty straightforward on this guy I really only have one spot to put it and that's right here um, I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on that I never shut this window so I think I'm gonna be okay putting it there even if I were to shut it it'll just come back I'll just have to readjust the, the pivot so I think my only thing I want to watch out for is make sure I'm not getting corrosion on this bar. I'll put it on there and I'll just monitor it as I go. Um, I don't want to put it on the glass here. I want to put it right here and we'll see how it goes. Just a couple screws. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Now I'm actually going to take this rubber plastic piece. I'm going to take this adhesive off. Stick it right on here. this get that right in this bar screw it on tight look at that seconds oh that's perfect it's totally out of my way for viewing I think it's just gonna become second nature to check that as I'm coming off a plane beautiful product. Look how easy that is. <laughs> I'd love to show you more, but that's pretty straightforward and simple. That's exactly what I wanted. Super sturdy. Love it. Anytime you can add anything related to safety in your boat, do it. That's staying. That's a keeper. So when Kenny Moto reached out to me, I got really excited about the T-top bag and the mirror, because like I said, those are things I was specifically looking for uh, to add some safety features to my Ravala 266 Cayman. And so I told him, hey, just send me that. And he, the guy, the Kenny Moto guy is like, no, no, we got way more stuff. Let me send you, let me send you a trash can. And so I was like, all right, I'll try it. Um, so let me show you what the trash can looks like. Portable trash can. Let's check it out. Like the bag and the mirror, this thing looks designed well. Look at this guy. Check it out. You know, the beautiful thing about this is you can see how easy small this packed away. I could pack this and store this. If we're having a beach day, if we're doing something, maybe, maybe we got four guys on the boat and we're gonna have a lot of uh, potentially beverage cans. Um, it gets hot out here in Florida. Uh, I can pull this out, boom. Here we go, guys. Trash can installed. <laughs> Look, it looks like we've got a top here so things aren't gonna blow out. 
That is really cool. I wasn't expecting that to be like spring-loaded and so compact. I can just store it like this, keep it away until I need it, and boom, I got it. So the zipper on the top here, so when you empty it, it makes it easy. That is a cool little product. Like, it just seems like all their products are just packed with little features. The more you look at it, the more you're like, that's really cool. What a cool little product. I'll definitely be using this thing. That's amazing. Love it. I got one more to show you. But, okay, the last thing they sent me was this cool little caddy. Okay, you can attach this with screws or with Velcro. I'm gonna use Velcro and I'm just gonna put this in my cabin. I'm always looking for ways to keep things up off the floor. So let's go into the cabin here. All right, so installation on this could be more easy. I could screw it in, but I'm gonna try Velcro first. If the Velcro doesn't work, I'll pop those screws in. It's kind of a believer, obviously, in less holes in the boat. Looks pretty heavy duty. I've had good luck with other Velcro products in this cabin. So I expect the same out of this. And I'm gonna stick it here on the side, right there. That way it's out of the way when this door's up. And the one thing I wanna hold in that is essential. <laughs> Definitely not how it's designed. So look at that's gonna work perfect. Light enough where that Velcro should hold just fine. It's gonna stay off the floor. Perfect. Thanks, Kenny Moto. I like it. New addition. Okay, well there you have it. Those are four new additions to my Rabala 266 Cayman, thanks to Kenny Moto. Appreciate you sending them out. Check out, if you like these products, check out the description below for a discount code. And that's a wrap. Thanks, Kenny Moto, for the products. I'm gonna enjoy using them. Be good.